Hello guys, welcome to the learning process. This is cinematic trailer. As you see, this is my full project. Now I show you how I did it in After Effects with Plexus, Trapcoat Particular and the Saber plugins. Let's start from the beginning. As you see, my composition setting is full HD. Duration is 10 seconds. Text. Now we will write down the text. Cinematic trailer. So first thing is we need to set our text. This is how it looks like. See the cinematic trailer. Now we need to make it pre-comp cinematic trailer move all attributes just ok and then duplicate it by pressing ctrl D now we need to import our texture now we import our texture for the text and the background so at first import this text and make it rotation forty five degree and put it alpha mat now you see our text is looks the same and then go to the effect layer generate fill it should be black and then go to the preset control panel bevel alpha just put the bevel alpha and change the lighting angle and make it add so make it duplicate again now we need to create another composition like main com text it should be 3d now and we need to put our texture it should be also 3d position 2000 and we should make it still to fit with our composition now the camera create a null and change the anchor point and parent it to the null camera position one and again duplicate it for another position now we need to add the saber for glowing our text create another solid layer called Saber and go to the text layer copy the text file paste it here 
naming Saber text okay now go to the effect and preset Saber now go to the customize and text layer from text layer you should select your text and then apply it to the end okay start then end of set also 10 or you can put 20 and 20 now you need to animate your mask evolution from 0 to like 200 25 28 C and duplicate the layer press U just change the mask evolution from 2 to 8 to the 192 and I want to change it to the orange glow its intensity should be 50 see our text is ready all the layers should be 3d and camera position one two hundred frame should be here easy out and easy in now go to the keyframe edit option and make it a bit longer so this is our first animation and second thing is we need to make it bit longer so from here minus 500 then it, it will be continue like this see our initial composition is ready and now we need to add particle and plexus so how we will add particle just take one solid layer go to the tab code particular make it box So it should be reverse. Now from the physics we need to change the gravity 
एंड एयर इट लुक्स बिट ब्लारी एंड इट्स क्रिएट अ मोशन ब्लार सो फॉर द मोशन ब्लार वी नीड टू ऑन दिस option also we need to on this see now it looks blurry in our particular setting we need to add motion blur from here motion blur on and change the shutter angle see it looks blurry and we need to change the color also just make it duplicate and change the motion blur change the color you can put any color whatever you want so now it's time to add the plexus just take another solid layer go to the composition robot plexus primitives noise and the lines that's it high lines distance also high and make it 5 55 make it more and change the transform option the way you want see now it looks bit different and also i changed the color now actually that one was blue and this one is white and i got some extra variation for the animation you need to animate to the noise evolution just press or press alter and click this animation key and type it to the time star 0.02 see this is how it looks like for the vignette i edit this layer into our main composition see now it looks bit different you need to adjust it little bit but the procedure is like this and then finally i came to the another composition like cc for color correction i added two three layer for color correction so first thing i added curves and and here i use extra light top light the same way i just change the position and change the color 
that's it and finally I use noise 2.5 sharp pen and unsharp mask thin see now it looks fresh and finally I added light to the composition and change the color by using hue saturation and finally I added the film bar it's almost done and now we need to add a glitch displacement map just to add some variation If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and write down your opinion to the comment below. Every week I upload a new video. So keep watching my tutorial. Thank you so much.